Welcome back! Today I'm thrilled to announce that this video is sponsored by 3CX. We were exploring the 3CX soft phone for Windows. So without further ado, let's dive into the installation process after the intro. The quickest way to install is via the web client. Log in, go to apps, now Windows app. And a small tip, leave this window open in the background. It will make logging in later much easier. Press on get it from Microsoft and open Microsoft Store. The Microsoft Store will be open showing the 3CX software app and click on install to start the download and installation. Once finished the install button will change to open. Click on open to launch the software app, soft phone app. Now return to the window with the button provision. Click it and confirm the pop-up to log in in the soft phone. Now we can close every other window in the background. This is the basic 3CX soft phone interface. On the left side you see different sections where we go through step by step. Each section will be highlighted and has a small colored indicator. The color depends on your system setting. On top you see your avatar with your current status indicator. Below is the team section. If there are more team members than can fit on the screen, you can scroll up and down. Use the search field on top for quick access. Each member has a status indicator. The status indicator is a powerful tool in 3CX for routing codes and it has also the possibility to customize your own status. Right click on an avatar opens an options menu where you can call, leave a voicemail or add to favorite. The next section is contacts. 3CX has an integrated phone directory, make it easy to call external contacts without dialing or looking them up. When an external client calls, the 3CX soft phone displays their name and the number if they're in your phone book. To call a contact, simply click on an entry and click on the call button. If there are more than one number stored, choose the one you want to call. By right clicking on a contact, you have the possibility to call, edit, delete, send email or copy the number. The next section is straightforward. Type in the number you want to call and click the dial button or use the keys on your keyboard. Recents. Here you can see all received, made or missed calls. Click on an entry to start a call. Right click on an entry reveals the options menu for call leave voicemail, send email, open contact, copy number or delete the entry. Voicemail is the next section. This lists all voicemails, showing the date, the name, the number and the length of the message. Click on an entry to listen to the voicemail. Right click for options like play on phone, call Mark is unheard, delete voicemail, open contact and copy number. The more button contains options for meet, chat and about. And all will lead to the web client. By the way, check out my video for more details about the web client. Panel will open a separate window, showing all active phone calls in your 3CX phone system. 
depending on settings made by your system administrator. And at the bottom, you will find the settings, where you can configure your audio interface like microphone, speaker, you can set hotkeys and the application integration. Now, let's explore the basic call functionalities. For example, go to team and then select the member you want to call. For the next demonstration, I have to change my status. Click on your avatar and, for example, set to available. And Grace is now available too. Now Ryan will call me. When you receive a call, a window at the bottom right corner will pop up with all the information. The name, the extensions or external number. And now we can accept the call. Here we have the options like hold. For example, if you want to or have to quickly leave your desk. Just simply press the hold button again and your call resumes. The mute button. Useful for sudden interruptions like sneezing or speaking to a colleague. Press again to unmute. Here we have the transfer button. This will directly transfer the call to the person. Click on the top. Type in the letters, press the entry and now just hang up. Now Ryan is talking to Grace. And we have an attendant transfer button. For example, Ryan wants to talk to Grace, but I don't know if Grace wants to talk to Ryan. So let's ask her ahead. Press on attendant transfer. Type in. Choose Grace. Now automatically the call to with Ryan is set on hold. Now I'm talking to Grace. And I tell her Ryan wants to talk to her. Grace agreed. Now press on the join button. And the call will automatically transfer to each other. Let's do that again, but in that case... Grace don't want to talk to Ryan. She hang up the call. And I press the hold button to resume the call with Ryan. Depending on company policy and your permissions, you may be allowed to record the call. That's a wrap for this overview. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. If you want to know how to configure a 4 bay NAS from Asus Tech, press this video. And if you want to know more about the 3CX web client, press this video. Have a great day. Bye.